Wind power is a renewable source of green energy production. Majority of the wind energy plants today are in the form of large horizontal access windmill farms that have several megawatt capacity. Unlike the large open windmill farms, extracting wind energy in urban scenario is challenging because of the tight space constraints and the fact that wind profile is highly turbulent. Although the small horizontal access wind turbines appear to be the first choice, they suffer from drawbacks such as extreme sensitivity to wind profile and large space requirements. Studies have shown that vertical access wind turbines are more suitable for urban applications because they are compact, robust to the changing wind conditions and operate at low wind speeds. Most of the vertical access wind turbines have fixed pitch and are not as efficient as the horizontal access wind turbines. They also do not self-start for most wind directions. However, previous studies have shown that the variable pitch vertical axis wind turbines are more efficient than the fixed pitch ones. In a variable pitch turbine, the pitch angle of the blades vary in a cyclic fashion as the turbine rotates. A CFD simulation was performed to demonstrate how the cyclic pitch of the blades improve the efficiency of a vertical axis wind turbine. This shows the flow field around a fixed pitch turbine. Since the blade angle stays constant, the blade would undergo large changes in an angle of attack and stall at several locations which is seen in the simulation here. This shows the flow field around a variable pitch turbine. When the blade's pitch angle is modulated appropriately, the blade stall could be alleviated at several locations. The flow through the variable pitch turbine is also cleaner as compared to the fixed pitch case. The potential of the variable pitch turbine has been realized long time back, but the variable pitch vertical axis wind turbine designed in the past used complicated and expensive pitching mechanisms that could not be implemented on a commercial turbine. So the present idea is to develop a revolutionary, extremely efficient, small scale variable pitch vertical axis wind turbines with a simplified blade pitching mechanism. The Alfred Gesso Rotocraft Center at the University of Maryland has been conducting pioneering research on cycloidal rotor UAVs for the past eight years. This effort recently culminated in the first flying cyclocopter in the history. This video shows a 500 gram cyclocopter stabilized using an onboard control system. The cyclorotors used in this vehicle has been optimized through six years of experimental and computational research. It has higher aerodynamic efficiency as compared to a conventional rotor of same size and disc loading. Since a variable pitch vertical axis wind turbine is the same as a cycloidal rotor, the idea is to leverage the cycloidal rotor technology to design an efficient and cost-effective cycloidal turbine. The present vertical axis wind turbine prototype has evolved from the optimized cycloidal rotor design used on a flying aircraft. The pitch mechanism is the most integral part of the turbine. This pitching mechanism is based on a four bar linkage system and is designed such that the blade pitching is kinematically coupled with the turbine rotation. This shows the cyclic pitching of the blades as the turbine rotates without any actuator. The face of this cyclic pitch has to be changed in order to adapt to the changing wind direction. This could be done using a simple rotation of the control link as shown here. This shows the response of a rotating wind turbine to the pitch face. In this case, the wind direction is kept fixed. Pay attention to the control link. The turbine reaches the maximum speed when this control link is aligned to the wind and the speed drops as the link is rotated. When the link is turned by 90 degrees, the turbine almost stops rotating. The facing of the blade pitch is instantaneously changed with the rotation of the control link. This is easier than rotating the entire horizontal axis wind turbine in the direction of wind, especially in an urban environment where the wind direction changes rapidly. A comprehensive experimental study is carried out using the scaled-down turbine model to optimize the power extraction. CFD studies are simultaneously carried out. Once the CFD model is validated using the experimental results, 
it will be used to design the optimized full-scale turbine. The full-scale prototype could be finally tested at the Glen L. Martin Wind Tunnel at the University of Maryland. We strongly believe that such a turbine could revolutionize wind power generation, especially in space-constrained urban environments.